Hey guys, welcome to Militian Ranch. I uploaded a video previously where I hung a piece of meat in a tree and I shot it with birdshot just to show the effect effectiveness of birdshot. And I got a lot of flack saying that buckshot's better and slugs are better and all this stuff, but I never said anything about birdshot being the best home defense option. I just said I would feel comfortable and confident having it in my home defense shotgun. Today I'm going to test out um, four different shells and see the effectiveness of each compared to the others. The first one is going to be the same as before, it's number seven birdshot. The second one is going to be a shell full of double lot buckshot. The third one is a one ounce slug and the fourth one is one of these Winchester PDX1 defenders and what they are is a one ounce slug followed by three rounds of buckshot. These pieces of meat are the same as before. They're about four inches thick. And again, the order is birdshot, buckshot, slug, and then the slug and buckshot combo. All right, there you go. This is birdshot. The wad is in it. It made a hole about three inches deep, just like last time. It tore that meat all apart. And just a couple pellets you can see trying to come out there on the backside. This is buckshot. Pretty much ripped this thing to shreds. Definitely penetrated through to the other side. This is our slug. Made a nasty hole through. Didn't even act like it was going to stop going through there. And this is our slug and buckshot combo. One solid hole all the way through. Nasty. Thanks for watching this video. I do plan on doing another one um, with clothing on the meat to see if birdshot can be stopped by jeans or a leather jacket. Um, if you have any other suggestions on what you'd like to see, don't hesitate to let me know. And thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. We'll see you next time.